Pyromithra and uh, Gunner. Honestly, like since we saw both these um, two players uh, win their matches on stream, this is kind of like like a tournament thing. This could be quote unquote the grand finals of our block of uh, you know the stream. Okay, oh, okay, <laughs> okay, Mithra, Pyra. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think you just saved him. Oh, this is rude. That this stock is prolonged. Uh, fun, fun fact. Um, Pyro F Smash killed me at ledge at 44 uncharged once. Yeah, we do that. that. That's pretty funny. That's comedy right there. Is it stronger than? It can't be stronger than Bowser's, right? Um, it feels like it is. Cause I mean, you're getting whacked with a sword and there's like so many particles on screen that like the game lags compared to Bowser just slamming his feet into your face. Well, Bowser is the strongest in the game before this, I think. Is Bowser or Snake? Oop, to the lab. Snake and Smash, that's fun. That's a funny move. That move is funny. <laughs> It's it's so it's so like spontaneous. Like there's nothing going on and all of a sudden just boom, there it is. Yeah. Frank 41, by the way, Snake F Smash. I have that number memorized. <laughs> 41. <laughs> it's very slow. That's a question. <laughs> oh wow. Is it? Ash attack almost killing from mid. Yeah, that's a strong ash attack. Comparing this last game, um, this is definitely a different matchup than what Pac Diesel was playing with last game uh, with Yoshi. Getting the up air. Yeah, I got the switch right there. Earl hasn't gotten much use out of Foresight, which is like a really good mechanic that Mithra has. That's mainly because he's just been using Pyro. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest about Foresight. It happens so fast that even when I activate it myself, I don't even realize it's happening until it's already finished. <laughs> Like, yeah, oh, okay. That's a good thing. That, yeah. Uh, 180 out. Especially like 150, that's basically you're throwing out a free projectile for a kill. Honestly, the meta the meta for Pyra Mithra might be just fiend 150% with Mithra and then throw that out as Pyra until you finally get it. Oh, oh one free. Yeah, missing right there. I think Pack Diesel was also trying to avoid the F smash because I don't know if he was going to get two framed there. He looks like a cat. His face his, his face looks like a cat. That is. Rex. I'm talking about Rex. <laughs> but, but not like a cute okay. cat. Like, like so, a... fill me in. Why does everybody hate Rex? Oh, um, he just fun looks fact. stupid. Uh, he... <laughs> Basically, that one like kid. In, like, I, I don't know. Just that one kid, you know. That one kid. You know the one. <laughs> He's not. He, I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't seem very interesting. All I know about Rex is that he dies in chapter one, and that's funny. <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> but then he gets revived because. Oh, here we go. So we're because the part. power of God in anime. Yeah, and by God in anime, I mean anime titties. Pyro revives on this. You mean the plot? Stop. You mean the plot? <laughs> <laughs> the plot. Yeah. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't like Rex because like he's, he's, he looks weird. I'm like, <laughs> I, I think the problem with Rex compared to Shulk is that when you compare the cast in the games, like everyone in Xenoblade One is very strong, uh, except Charla. But like everyone's very strong. I think they're all good personalities. Even though like Charla's not my favorite, I still enjoy her, and I think she does pretty well for the um, you know, for like the group. She's like a good fit. Meanwhile, you compare Xenoblade Chronicles 2 from what I played, you know, there's Tora, who's alright, uh, Nia, best girl, and then you have Pyra and Mithra, who are just really good, but then Rex is just kind of, like, awkward? It's hard to explain. Shonen like, Tiger Syndrome. Know, right? Rex says a lot in that game for what I played, and, like, he says a lot of... Like, I cringed multiple times during the game. Yeah, Shonen Protagonist Syndrome, that's what we like to call it. Oh, oh actually true. Oh, okay. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, oh. We saw Foresight, finally. Foresight made Pyro predict her own death in that case. Oh, up smash and... Uh, uh, not up smash, down. Pyro. I messed yeah. that up that bad. 
Ooh, double left tilt. Mm -hmm. But still, Earl putting on heavy pressure with Mithra. Yes. I don't know if switching there was the right play, because now, 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 he's, now he's playing as this sluggish character here. I mean, the combo yeah. was basically finished, so I think Earl was hoping to um, catch Pack Diesel off guard there, right there. Yeah. One thing about Mithra's combos, uh, want to try to finish them a lot with her neutral beat. I know a lot of people haven't been going for that yet because she's still new. That was mm -hmm. pretty effective there. But like, I know um, when you end a combo with Mithra, if you, if you read their escape option, like they're probably gonna try to air dodge out. Just like charge a neutral beat, and depending on if they go in front of you or behind you, you let it rip, and it can usually catch them, and that's a good finisher. Because when you're charging it, the sword of the sword that you're holding above has a hitbox and then you can turn it around if needed when it starts up which is crazy i did not yeah. think that you would be able to turn that around yeah i didn't think you could turn uh my first neutral be around until i tried it myself like oh wow okay this one's actually pretty good <laughs> it's a combo finisher for sure it, it's like one of pyra's good like finisher options if you're able to get it in for like a kill i mean not like a combo. I feel like a combo is too slow. Okay, Sephiroth. Rip Pyra Mithra. Oh, we got the old news. Go back to the old me. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Earl Sephiroth is always just kind of good to watch from what we saw last week. Or... Yeah, last week, sorry. <laughs> I mean, here we go. A different kind of matchup here. Okay, back in. Trying to go for the counter for the oh, uh -oh. what's and uh, this dude, you love this see set. It. This set has had a lot of spaghetti <laughs> mm -hmm. from both sides. I mean, that first stock was really crazy, and then Earl was able to go down there and try to counter uh, Pack Diesel's recovery. Very good combo. Balls of darkness. That's not what the move's called, but... <laughs> also, um, against Mii Fighter, Sephiroth's able to recover pretty safely, I'd say, like, because how low you can recover. I'm looking for that down air. Sephiroth down air is a thing of beauty. Unless you're on the receiving end of it. He is too, does it? It better not. <laughs> That's kind of disgusting if it can. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It might be able to. I know if you I go hope. through Smashville. That's <laughs> funny. I hope not. That's kind of disgusting, honestly. I feel wow. like... oh. All right, the wing's gone, but looks like you won't need it anymore. Mm -hmm. That only that only disappears once you get a kill, right? I always forget like what's the reason why it disappears for the stock. There are a number of factors. It's uh, I saw a video on it um, by what's his name, PK Beats, the YouTuber. Basically, it's a system where like whenever you do damage with Sephiroth, it does like a certain amount of points. And once mm -hmm. you do enough points with the wing, the wing will disappear. Like getting a kill is worth like a hundred points. Ooh. Yeah, wow. that's a JP3. Mm -hmm. I think how it is, it's, if, you, if you do enough damage percent, uh, it'll disappear. But taking a stock counts as like 50 or 100 percent, so that's why it disappears a lot when you take a stock. Sometimes yeah. if you take a stock, it'll stay around, and then you do some damage on your next stock, and then it disappears. It's because the points swelled over there. I don't, I'm probably explaining it really badly, but... I, I that, basically get it. <laughs> yeah. Watch that, that YouTube video. That guy explains it better than I could. <laughs> they had to make it as complicated as possible. I wish they'd just give him like a normal meter. But nah, they had to make it invisible. I kind of wish so too, but the moment I would have seen that meter, I would have like died on the inside. <laughs> Post DLC stress disorder. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, we got we got a meter for Joker. That's cool. Oh, Hero's got a meter for his mana. Oh, that's cool. PTS oh, DLC for uh, Wonder Wing. Okay, Terry has an activation <laughs> meter for Ghost Laws. Oh, Bradley doesn't have anything. And then Mimin didn't have anything. 
Actually, I don't think I didn't see that too much. Gary, who has, has uh, something. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, and Steve has too much. <laughs> oh, Steve does have meter. I forget. Well, not meter, but he, he has something. Alright, Gunner's back out. We need to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meaties. Meaties. That, that sounds like a TV show. Missile? Grenade? Ooh. I really do wonder how the um oh reflecting those Ooh. good uh, having a reflector on that. I so really he does do... have multiple movesets saved. Oh yeah, you could change that out then. Cause it was the um downbeat grenades before. Hence why we yeah. hadn't seen them. Yeah, he went the yeah, he used the grenades versus the, the pirate mythic. Wow, this this team's got multiple genos on deck. Switching out his equipment. They're all sucked <laughs> up. Also, we're on Smashville, so will we see down air go through the stage? Find out. Okay. Um, yeah. Hey, oh no, Pat. He, yeah, he misjudged the timing. That is just kind of leaving yourself wide open for that, thinking that they were going to go off sooner than that. Yeah. In that situation, you want to get Sephiroth as far away from you as possible before letting out the reflector. Mm-hmm. I love the buffered air dodge too. And Earl's just kind of going happy with those side Bs. Yeah. I caught. I play a little Sephiroth in Bracket today because I want all DLC characters. I just, I, I just copy Earl Sephiroth whenever I try to play the characters. Just lots of side Bs. That's his mm -hmm. favorite. It's a good move because, like, it, it's like the like timer bomb. But I, the timing of it's always so weird. Trying to poke with the fair, getting bopped off the bottom of Smashville. Yeah, I see what he's going for. He wants he want to charge arc to slash to cut for the recovery and get a kill, but mm -hmm. it did not work out. Oop. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to go for the aqua slash yolo. <laughs> Tried to go for an up smash to get a kill. <laughs> Alright, this is looking, looking like the end of Pete's winner's run if Earl gets this stock here. Uh, there's, uh, is there? Not this is game four, right? This is game three, off the top. <laughs> I'm Pretty sure it's game the, four. Uh, it's something. Yeah, it's game four because game one was Gunner versus Pyra, and then game two was Gunner versus Pyra. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I, I, I'm pretty hmm. sure that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yes, that is it's it. it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the HUD was wrong. I was like, is this?